Okay, well, this is my little uh, solenoid engine project here that uh, I've showed a couple of videos on it already. And uh, what it is, it's a coil of wire that moves a magnet array back and forth. And then it goes through this uh, cranking system with a simple switch to turn the wheel around. And then I've added a generator coil so that as the magnets move back and forth inside here, these two coils are separate and the generator coils coming out here with a couple of diodes to half rectify it and then going into this uh, jewel thief which I call Penny. It's a LED low power LED light that runs on um, low power and then I've got a radio here so you can hear the oscillator run and when it comes out of the generator coil or really it's an alternator uh, I'm going uh, through half rectification here into a capacitor 100 uh, microfarad capacitor and uh, then uh, when I turn the engine off you'll hear this to continue to run on the energy that's been pumped into this let me turn it on I'll show you what it looks like here well, there's the engine running now what's happening here the battery energy which is about three and a half volts is going into the engine the magnet here is is running in and out of that generator coil producing energy through the diodes into that capacitor and then it's running the penny oscillator the radio is picking up the penny oscillator running here now when i turn this off you're going to hear the radio continue to pick up the beep 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 of the penny oscillator it shows that the energy has actually been coming out of here being stored there. Let me turn this off. Let me turn it on one more time. Now, I don't think I'm going to go much further with this project. Initially, I was going to 3D print this whole thing up, like the last project, but I don't know if I want to spend the time doing that. Uh, it's a real interesting project, real fun to do, but the efficiency is so poor on this because of the friction losses. And then when you move this thing back and forth, you got to stop it, move it back, stop it, move it back, back and forth. You're losing a lot in, um, in this process rather than trying to rotate something, which doesn't take much energy to keep something moving around. When you're taking inertia and stop it and then start it up again and go this way, you lose a lot of energy. So anyway, we'll see what happens, but I don't think I'll go much further with this project, but it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the, the project, and it makes a nice sound. If I did 3D print this up, um, like I say, I, I, I might make this, um, you know, simply a battery-powered device that uh, maybe just had an LED on this. This will light up an LED. Um, like I say, with a with a jewel thief type circuit attached to it quite easily, and then just make a little motor generator type display item out of it. But pretty fun. Thanks for watching.